Hi, I'm Justin, DevOps engineer, and I give JunkCloud 5 out of 5 stars. For more reviews like these, please click the link below. Before using JunkCloud, I considered using open source directory services like OpenLDAP, as well as Active Directory, the gold standard for that sort of thing, and the open source equivalent like Free IPA. I ended up picking JunkCloud because it was just so easy to get everything working, and I didn't have to get anything associated with Microsoft setup. JunkCloud has a number of different directory services all built in, so you don't just get LDAP. You can also do SMB authentication, you've got Radius, you've got stuff like that, and in addition, they keep expanding the platform out further and further with every new release. They're giving you now the ability to do kind of a sort of MDM solution in addition to that, and they have a great access control system, they have user portals, it's just so many systems glued together, and it's so easy to get started. Getting JumpCloud started was relatively simple. You get on there, you put a couple of users in, and they have really great documentation on how to get stuff connected with, let's say, a Samba server, or how to get stuff connected over LDAP. Once you get the basic ebb and flow of JumpCloud going, it's, there's really not much to it. If you're thinking about using JumpCloud, consider whether you're using tools that specifically require Active Directory. There's, there are some that do. So, for instance, you can't use something like Google Cloud Directory Service with Jump Cloud because it requires AD specifically. For anything else that can just take an A directory platform, A directory service, it'll work just fine with that. 